The Rode Wireless Go is finally here. Let's see what's inside and let's compare it to my Zoom F1 Field Recorder and the Wireless Movo WMic P10. I always get it wrong. Movo Wireless Mic. Anyway, check it out. Taking a look at the Rode Wireless Go, they are very small, very light, comes with USB-C port, um, a built-in lavalier mic, a built let's talk about the uh, receiver first. Rece receiver has a screen here for displaying uh, pertinent information like power, battery life left, um, sound levels and it also comes with a USB-C charging port uh, together with a gain setting changer and also I'm not sure what is this but we'll have a look later but looking at the physical size it's really small and has a little bit of has a little claps here a clip so that you can put into the horseshoe of your camera and the receive the transmitter has a built-in microphone together with a jack for you to put in your own uh, Lavalier if you wish or some other microphones that you might attach it to and you also come with a I'm not too sure what is this, but it could be a pairing button and Again with a clip here Note that when I do this comparison for the audio quality I've kept the settings on the camera to be the same throughout so you're here at each uh, devices pure level I'll try the three gain settings on the um, on the Rode Wireless Go as well for the uh, Zoom F1 uh, recorder with the shotgun mic I'll just do it under one setting and the same goes for the uh, Movo Wireless Mic 2 and I'll just try on one sound gain setting This is the audio quality of the Rode Wireless Go on its lowest gain setting This is the audio quality of the Rode Wireless Go on its medium gain setting This is the audio quality of the Rode Wireless Go on its highest gain setting this is the audio quality of the Zoom F1 field recorder. This is the audio quality of the Movo wireless transmitter and receiver with a ceremonic mic. This is the audio quality of the Rode Wireless Go on its highest gain setting. One of the things I like to highlight on the Rode Wireless Go is that it uses a 2.4 GHz transmission range. So it's apparently according to them, it hunts for the right channels so that you don't get um, signals that are distorted by all the wireless devices that we have around indoor spaces so this means that you get clear audio all the time I hope I have experience with the Movo wireless mic 10p that occasionally I get uh, cutouts which I think is most likely due to the wireless devices that we the Wi-Fi devices that we have which has many channels crisscrossing here and there that may have caused the distortion or the cutouts to happen. So that's it. If you're looking for a wireless transmitter and receiver with a microphone built in, I think you look no further. This is a device that you should go for. At $288, it's a good deal. I think you can get the Sennheiser ones, which I, I understand would cost quite a bit. But in terms of versatility, weight and size and its functions I think it's hard to beat so go try it 